is it. Tag team action underway here, guys. Cut Buster. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Starr and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Sit out, suplex. Targeting the back, very effective. The two out of three falls match, you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste, uh-oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, what impact. Point of the elbow, nailed it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Falcon Arrow. Uh-oh. Watch out. Incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. He's starting to stagger a bit. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me yeah. think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Looking for it. Submission move. Oh, there it is. It's in. The cat crusher. crusher. Is that it? Is it over? A move like that can almost snap a superstar in half. Tagged in. Really working over the body. Look at the height. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Oh, He's really going to need to create some space for himself. technique. Max Handel finds the mark. This might be it. Oh, my. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, man. Ouch. He's getting closer, Corey. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Uh-oh. Hurricane Rana! Oh, 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 what a boot. Here he goes. Slick blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Here's his chance to win this. That'll readjust your spine. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, 
for many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor. He's got the shoulders down. Now it's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Yeah, this early, no chance. Ooh, nasty impact. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Knee drop. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Face. Watch out. This is where anything can happen. Tell me about it. Oh boy. German suplex. Oh, vertical suplex. Nice. Oh boy, he is rolling. Boom, what impact. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. What a stomp! Good grief! He's on the defensive here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. He's doing exactly what he didn't want to do here. He's letting his opponent right back into this match. Ball drop. And if he hits this, flat blade. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Nailed it. Comes in off the tag. You've got to believe this one's over. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Harsh impact. Lariat. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, count out, or disqualification. Submission move coming up. There it is, it's locked in. Smart maneuver. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. You don't want to get locked into that move for a long time. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the... Oh, no. We know what this is. Destroy your face. This is his opportunity to win this thing. He goes for the cover. Strong oh, kick. My goodness. And he's able to get out. Just needs to do more damage. Right across the back of the neck. He's going for it all. You establish dominance. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. Get out from there, not up there. Oh, you gotta please. be kidding me, Slam. That has gotta be it. Let's take a quick look at that again. That could be it, Michael. That should do it right there. Two. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. He needs to change something fast, guys. Ooh, what impact. Lightning fast reflexes. Oof. Tag in. Axe handle finds its target. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. 
the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Oh, and it's a reversal. His opponent has his number right now. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. It looks to me like he may have lost focus there. For Nothing quite like the phenomenal forearm. He hit it. Now it's time to capitalize. He's got him covered. One, two, three. They did it. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. I'm not easily impressed, but that was one of the most entertaining matches I've had the pleasure to see in a while. Here are your winners, the Dragon, Slater, Jack Evans, and Angelo. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.